Okay, Warren, this question comes from a Berkshire shareholder, says they've been a shareholder for 10 years. I should say this may be one of the most pointed questions I've ever received for you. But you so. wanted to give it, though, anyway. But, but I did. <laughs> the shareholder writes, I have watched the movie every year at this meeting when you testify in front of Congress on behalf of Solomon as the symbol of what it means to have a moral compass. Investors are increasingly looking to invest in companies that are socially and morally responsible. So I was disturbed when you were asked on CNBC about the role that business could play in sensible policies around the sales of guns. You said you didn't think business should have a role at all and you wouldn't impose your values on others. I was even more surprised when you said you'd be okay with Berkshire owning shares in gun manufacturers. At this meeting years ago, you said you wouldn't buy a tobacco company because of the social issues. The idea that Berkshire would associate with any company as long as it isn't illegal seems at odds with everything I think you stand for. Please tell us you misspoke. Well, let's, let's explore that a little. Uh, should, it, should it be just my view or should it be the view of the owners of the company? So if I decide to poll the owners of the company, on a variety of political issues, and, and one of them being whether, you know, Berkshire Hathaway should support the NRA. Yeah. I know if a majority of the shareholders voted to do it, or if a majority of the board of directors voted to do it, I would, I would, I would accept that. I don't, I don't think that the my political views. I don't think I put them in a blind trust at all when I take the job, and I, in the election of. 2016, I raised a lot of money. In my case, I raised it for Hillary, and I spoke out in various ways that were quite frank. But I don't think that I speak. When I do that, I don't think I'm speaking for Berkshire. I'm speaking as a private citizen, and I don't think I have any business speaking for Berkshire. We have never, at the parent company level, we have never made a political contribution. You know, uh, I mean, go, and I don't. I don't go to our suppliers. I don't do anything of that sort where I raise money either for the school I went to or for a political candidate I went to or anything else. Uh, and I don't think that we should have a question uh, on the Geico policyholder form. Are you an NRA member? You know, and if you are, you just aren't good enough for us or something like that. I think I, I, I do not. I, I do not believe in imposing my political opinions on the activities of our businesses. And if you get to what companies are pure and which ones aren't pure, I think it is very difficult to make that call. Okay. I think with that response, I'm almost afraid to call on Charlie, but go ahead, Charlie. <laughs> Well, obviously, you do draw a limit, Warren, yeah, and all did. kinds of things yeah. which are beneath us even though they're legal. But we don't necessarily draw it perfectly because we've got some sort of supreme knowledge. We just do the best we can. And certainly we're not going to ban all guns surrounded no. by wild turkeys in Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> 